The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at kidney infection, symptoms, and treatment. Now in a previous video, I've already detailed uh, bladder infection symptoms, which um, rhymes with kidney infections, but there's some more details, uh, some differences, little nuances about uh, kidney infections I'm going to go through here. Now the medical name for a kidney infection is pyelonephritis. Now if we look at the anatomy board here, this is a, a neat slide here showing um, the differences in location between a kidney infection, which is up here, and a bladder infection, which is down here. Now that being said, uh, the process is very similar, but not exactly the same. In a bladder infection, uh, bacteria passes usually from around the anal area, tracks up here, then tracks up the genitourinary system into the bladder. And from there, if it isn't treated uh, quickly enough, it can then traverse up this um, kidney plumbing here through the ureter up to the kidney. Another way is for bacteria somewhere in the bloodstream to seed themselves to the kidney and then cause a, a primary infection there in the kidneys. So because this, the two structures are so close together, a lot of the symptoms uh, rhyme, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'll go through them and show you how, um, how they are similar and how they're dissimilar in, in, in other ways, respects. Uh, the first thing is, in both cases, uh, bladder or kidney infections, um, the first tell that I'll use is to collect someone's urine. I'll usually immediately notice that the urine looks kind of cloudy. And when I put a chemical dipstick into it, you'll see these uh, squares lighting up. Uh, the key ones that I'm looking for is uh, for blood here, this dark green one. Um, nitrate, this one here, which is a byproduct of um, some bacteria called Proteus. And this uh, purple one here, which tells me that there is uh, snot cells in the urine or pus cells. Now one difference um, with bladder infections, a lot of cases of bladder infections, they're too mild to actually cause a fever. So most of the case when I check your temperature, it's completely normal. With uh, pyelonephritis or a kidney infection, usually this is um, considered by the body as so, so um, catastrophic or immediate or um, dangerous that the body will rev its um, system up and cause a fever. So that's one of the telltale signs of pyelonephritis. The other key thing is that, as you can see on the picture here, where the bladder is down here, um, if you're having a bladder infection, you tend to feel symptoms and pain in this area. Whereas for kidney infection, you feel it more in your back where the kidneys are. And it can be on either side or both sides. So one of the tests that I'll do in clinic to determine if you're actually suffering with a kidney infection is I will wrap your back, which basically means I'll use my, the back of my hand and shake the back of your rib cage. So just knocking, like knocking on a door at the back. Not that, not super hard though, but just like you would knock on a door. What that um, achieves is it will shake the kidneys inside and if they're affected, uh, it will cause the individual that's suffering with it pain. And that's how I can clue in. This isn't just a bladder infection, this is pyelonephritis. This um, diagram here is again just illustrating the, the pain that's felt in the, loin, in, the, in the loins in the back, which I just demonstrated with that um, model. Now, another difference between um, kidney infection and bladder infection. In a bladder infection, you may be able to get away with um, treating it with cranberry juice or cranberry pill extract if you um, catch it quickly enough. Kidney infection, that is a complete waste of time. That will not work. It is too invasive and, and too, um, it's also too dangerous to leave it uh, while you wait for a natural remedy like that to work. So if you see that on the internet, that is bogus. Ignore it. The mainstay of treatment, if you have a kidney infection, is antibiotics. And the most common one that I'll use in clinic for suspected or confirmed um, pyelonephritis, kidney infection, is um, ciprofloxacin. Um, that tends to penetrate the bloodstream well. It tends to make its way to the kidneys and get itself concentrated in the kidneys um, superbly. And that high concentration as it runs down the uh, ureters 
decimates the bacteria within the kidney structure um, and um, all the way down to the outside. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the differences and treatment of a kidney infection versus bladder infection. Uh, again, there's some similarities, but there's also some glaring differences that you need to be aware of. Pyelonephritis or a kidney infection can be severe enough that you can actually end up toxic and, uh, or septic and needing to attend the ER. Bladder infections, on the other hand, are usually relatively benign. They're just nuisances. They just burn a lot. They're irritants, but you're not going to end up uh, being septic in general unless the bladder infection evolves and traverses up the uh, plumbing into the kidney. And again, then we're talking about pyelonephritis. So again, thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so I can keep you updated as I upload new videos. And have a terrific rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.